Welcome everybody to uh, the very unexpected April Fool's Day <laughs> rendition of Movie Versus. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a very awkward thing to announce. Uh, we had a whole ass video planned for um, the Uncharted versus Tintin video, but the problem. Well, is, more so, Mark had a video planned. Yeah, I was just kind of I was just kind of rolling with it. And uh, we had a whole series of jokes and critiques leveling against Uncharted and praising the movie Tintin by Spielberg. The only mm. problem is, it turns out I like the Uncharted movie, and now I can't make that video with a sense of honesty, which I'm going to put a quarter in the jar every time I do that again. I'm honestly surprised. I didn't think, I, I thought you were not going to like the movie. Yeah, me neither. I was expecting to just like bash it completely. Yeah, which is funny because I feel like walk coming out of the movie, you ended up liking it more than I did, which yeah. I went into it, I didn't have super low expectations like you did. I mean, I, I was like, this could go either way. But you were like dead set. You were like, yeah, this movie's going to be bad. I was just like, it could be good. It might be good. Yeah, to the point where like I was dressed up in like, like I, I bought these like costumes for Indiana Jones sketches where we did a sketch later on that you'll see at mm -hmm. the end of this video to like make fun of Uncharted. But that sketch is irrelevant now because it's not honest to how I feel about the movie, yeah. which is so I, strange to me. Um, like this was like, you know, people always talk about video game movies and like how they suck and like... Honestly, like other video game movies, I've either I either haven't seen or I don't really care about like where it comes from. Like like Mario Brothers movie, I never saw that. Like the Mortal Kombat movies, Tomb Raider movies, yeah, Resident Evil. Like I don't really, I only recently got into Re Resident Evil, so like those don't really like. Courtesy of me, partly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For four, um, <laughs> four, yeah, yeah. But um, like yeah, like those those are movies I don't really care about. But like Uncharted is like. I, I'm a fan of Uncharted, so like this is the first time a video game movie adaptation was just like, if it's not good, I'm genuinely gonna be disappointed. Yeah, it hits um, that video game series hits different. It, it yeah, it does. It's it's not really like before the movie came out. Mark and I binged every single. Well, we didn't play the first one. Well, we we played part of the first one. Problem is, the first one is kind of bad. Did we? Did we play part of the first? One? We we played like the first level, the first one. Like, oh yeah, that's right. Because I wanted to show. Because after we right after we beat Uncharted four, I was just like, I'm I'm gonna like take you back to the beginning to see where these characters started. Mm -hmm. um, I just, but I, to be honest with you, like the first Uncharted game, it's good. And like, I like going back and playing it. It's just to like, you know, I wouldn't even say for the nostalgia because I only played it like for the first time, like a <laughs> few years ago. Um, but like, it is like one of those games that's just like, I don't know. It's just like charming. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's, 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 it's very, like, it's like a, a student to be yeah, a like yeah. feature film. It's like, I describe it's how I describe the movie El Mariachi by Robert Rodriguez, mm -hmm. who is a big inspiration for me. And Robert Rodriguez, if you're watching this, thank you. Shout uh, out to Robert Rodriguez for the show. Yeah, but like the thing is, like it, I can't argue that El Mariachi is a very good movie because mm -hmm. I mean, okay, okay, it's not a badly made movie. It's it's okay, but like that's really it. It's just like it's like it's got a few set pieces that I kind of like, which really like I only like it because I know the backstory of how they were made on such a tiny budget. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's kind of like Uncharted. It's like the first Uncharted. It's like it's more yeah. of a it's more of like just you you appreciate it more. Yeah, than, yeah, yeah. More than like you it's definitely one of those it. games like you play it and you're like, all right, now I need to play Uncharted two. Yeah. And then you play Uncharted two and you're like, well, now I need to play three. And then you just end up playing all it's, of them. It's like it's, it's like, like freaking... I, I I would probably never just be like, I want to play Uncharted one and that's it. Like if I play Uncharted one, usually I do it with the intention of playing two right afterwards. Mm -hmm. Which I always say, if a movie series can't hook me on like the first go, like I usually just skip that and go to the good one. Mm -hmm. Like to the point where. I've skipped all the bad Terminator movies. I've only seen the first three Friday I've the 13th movies. I've only seen the movies. first two uh, Terminator movies. Yeah. No one told me to skip Mission Impossible 2. Which, <laughs> but, that, but that's John Woo, though. Why, why wouldn't you want to watch a John Woo? Well, I haven't seen it, so I can't really say. Oh, you didn't see Mission Impossible 2? No, I've only seen um, uh, four, five, six, and uh, parts of one. Which, I, to be fair, one has some really cool yeah, stuff. Yeah, one's good. Yeah. But two is just like... It hits different. I'm going to keep... Yeah, you're going to be... I'm going to put a quarter in the jar every time I say that. Keep reminding me. <laughs> yeah, two was... Uh, yeah. yeah. I, 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 wasn't, I wasn't a huge fan of it, but I, I know that's like the general consensus. A lot of people are like, yeah, yeah two sucks. But it is made by a fantastic uh, Hong Kong action Yeah, director. I'm not denying that, you know. I, I need know to see... I need to see some... I've only ever seen The Killer by him, which is... Mm. It's kind of lame, because I didn't really... What else did he do? He did Hard Boiled. He did Face Off, which... We were, gonna watch, we, we, yeah. we were considering watching that for a movie night, mm. and he did... Um, but we're watching Con Air, by the way. Bullet in the Head, yeah. We're, uh, we, we're watching... We're, just, we're indulging in Nick Cage before his new mm. movie comes out. <laughs> Unbearable weight of massive talent. That, that is such but, a uh, Chad thing to name a movie. Yeah. 
before we get too sidetracked. Yeah, so the uh, Uncharted movie, yeah. The Unchar- yeah, the Uncharted movie was uh, really good. I, I, good. I liked how, like, it reminded me of, like, there's a quote, I forget who had said it. It was a famous film critic who said that, like, there's not a lot of, like, there's, like, a lot of, like, smartly written movies in America, but not a lot of, like, witty ones where, like, the dialogue generally like, bounces back and forth mm-hmm. between each other. This was genuinely, like, really witty because, like, it actually knew how to, like... It was. Like, each, I will... like, when a character speaks mm-hmm. to another, like, they'll often, like, they'll re... Recon- like, the other character will do a great job of, like, recontextualizing what they just said and, like, using it to, like, fire back at them. And, like, mm-hmm. then it'll, like... It'll be, like, this... It'll create, like, a unique dynamic. I, I will say I... Um, like, the writing for this movie definitely had the wit of an Uncharted game. Mm-hmm. But for me, I don't know, the, the the delivery and the performances could have been a little better. I agree. In, 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 in my humble opinion, like like the things that Sully would say, like, oh, I can't be out here running, kid, I got a bad ankle. Or like, he's like, I don't have my glasses. That's like such a Sully thing to say. But like, he says it and it's just like, that's, that's Mark Wahlberg, you yeah. know? And same with like Tom Holland, like the way he delivers his lines is just kind of like, kind of dry. Which I agree. is like, not very Nathan Drake. But I get it like, you know, it's not like, an exact, you know. Yeah, it's trying to do something different. Yeah, a little, a little to an extent. Mm-hmm. But like, like it's like, like I'm sure in the like in the future installments we'll see more of like Nathan Drake start to come out. Yeah, of... once once Tom Holland's voice deepens, <laughs> which I was saying in the movie, like I was like, I, mean, I don't know if you remember this. I was like, the kid who plays the kid version of Nathan Drake in this movie has a deeper voice than Tom <laughs> Holland's. I mean, I'm Tom sorry, Holland, Tom Holland. I'm sorry. Yeah, I can't. You I mean can't deny he does kind of still sound like a kid, but uh. But that's kind of why he's fun to watch. Like, yeah. And not not in like a he's a haha look how bad mm. he is. No, like he, he is like he is a good actor. It's just like it's, it's like it's like uh what's the example? It's like when Samuel L. Jackson when he overacts in like Pulp Fiction, like that's why you like yeah. him is because he's like it's fun to I, watch. I, I do think it's odd that they went with like when they they said they were doing young Nathan Drake. I was like for, first off I was excited when they said that because before I didn't care about the Uncharted movie. I was like uh, we're just it's not gonna be. It's not going to be as good. But then they said, oh, we're doing young Nathan Drake. That's when I, I got intrigued because I'm like, okay, this gives them the opportunity to do things that we haven't seen in the games. It's mm-hmm. not just going to be like, oh, you remember when this happened in the games? Well, it's going to happen on the big screen now. It was more like, okay, we could explore some like story stuff that we, we didn't get to see. Um, and then like I, later I found out that it wasn't going to be canon, which I was like, actually, yeah. you know, Because this, this is this way – if the movie like does some stuff that's like bad screwed up it it doesn't affect the games at all it's like okay yeah um so like i was like okay young young nathan drake young sully this could be cool um and i think that it definitely was but i do think it's odd that young nathan drake is like early 20s nathan drake <laughs> i feel like it's like because in the games, yeah. when we see young Nathan, he's like a kid slash teenager so it's like i thought they were gonna go that route because i feel like tom holland can pull that off mm-hmm. um because his voice and his height. Um, <laughs> shout out to Tom Holland for an intro. But um, yeah, like um, Tom Holland, if you want to do an interview with us, we're open to it. Yeah, it it was. I, it did strike me as like a bit weird that he's like a bartender and he's like in his early twenties. Because I was like, yeah, I mean, I guess. But but it was um, it was a cool. It was a, those were some cool scenes. So like how he's doing like the flips and shit with yeah. the with the can stuff. Like I love that. Like, yeah. That, like, I like knew when it was he like, did I, the fire thing with like the dragon thing when yeah. he was like blue fire at the guy yeah and like he was like doing like, like he was doing like the the fight scene in the the club with the with the bartender stuff yeah like, he's, like beating the dude up with the can like i love that like, like, wait, wait, I know wait, it's wait. Different let me movie. guess pina colada <laughs> yeah 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 that, that was, was good that, that was that was a good line yeah because like i think it's really in part of the it's part of the way these like these scenes are done so well mm-hmm. is because like they have a great cinematographer his name is chung hoon chung he's a korean cinematographer who worked on uh with a lot of park chan wook's work like uh like uh Old Boy and Handmaiden, but he's also done some stuff in America with Edgar Wright on Last Night in Soho, and uh, he actually did the first Venom movie, I think. Yeah, yeah, that was the first one, not not the second one. The second one had T- Tarantino's cinematographer, actually. Really? Yeah, those movies, Venom, they, they they boggle my mind because like they're very much made for like thirteen year olds, but they have like <laughs> like freaking like the the Picasso of cinematographers. Yeah, that I, did, they're just I didn't see to. the second Venom. I didn't. You didn't the, you like it, you said. I didn't see it. I saw the first one. I thought you did see the second one. No, no, I I was going to see the second one that came out, but never did. Oh, I th- I thought I I thought I remember you telling me that one time you did. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting a new job at Michelangelo's with pizza. Is it- did you get the job? I did. I did. Yeah, I'll be sorry. Congratulations. Person. Thank you. This is news. Yeah. <laughs> see, film is all about like capturing a moment, like, a moment <laughs> of surprise, a moment of improvisation, that mm-hmm. sort of thing. So, you're welcome. Yeah. But like, I won't have any work next week. It's my birthday. Which is also my birthday is coming up, Holy April crap, 9th. Yes. If you want to 
Send me a gift. Send me some money. <laughs> send me send me some camera gear. Honestly, I'm working with. Anyway, send, send him a like a eight millimeter or whatever it is you. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna get that anymore. I'm gonna get a, a Canon 60D. We're we're renting the, the Flickr Canon 60D right now. We're gonna I'm gonna get a, my own soon. Nice. Yeah. But yeah, Uncharted. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That's why we're here. Um, yeah. I just like, I literally walk out of the theater like I am the biggest idiot on the face of the earth because I put all the I put all my chips on the table for that movie sucking. I walked out of the theater really uh, pleased. No, me too. But like, I was also mad. I, yeah, that's kind of your fault. But um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But no, yeah, it, it was definitely a fun. Like, even if the movie, one thing I did know, even if the movie wasn't that great i knew it was going to be a fun theater experience just because yeah. of like you know the people and just the you know the, the crowd was great i think yeah like the people were, we were talking to people afterwards was yeah literally as we were leaving like I, didn't we like clap afterwards we did I, you we and did i clap did. and then just uh, because we were, and then like we other people kind of joined and that's um, this one guy he was leaving he was like they did good they did good and i yeah. was like oh yeah man that guy is a true chad <laughs> yeah <laughs> literally but it's funny that speaking of the theater experience I bought that night to like because it was a, a video game movie. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna put on I'm gonna put on my big boy gamer pants, and I bought a Mountain Dew slushie and a bag of Dorito nachos. Mm. So this is how it works at that particular theater. I won't disclose what theater that is because I don't want to get in trouble with them. But they, you can pay for a bag of Doritos with a side of of molten cheese that you get with nachos. I didn't want that because that sounds disgusting, obviously. <laughs> the problem is, even though I gave them all the money and asked them, hey, you can keep the cheese. I don't want that. They said, no, you have to get the <laughs> cheese with it. That's not how it works. I'm like, why is that how it works? I am the customer. I am always right. Exactly. That's the first rule of business. Right. But, but like, literally, I threw away the cheese while the guy wasn't looking. Like, I, as he has his back turned to another customer, I like. I would have did it while he was looking and be like, I looked him dead in the eye as I dropped it in the <laughs> trash can. And then walked off like a boss, <laughs> like how Will Smith walked off. Anyway, we're getting a little topical here. Um. <laughs> yeah, uh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> literally, it was just such a, it was such a Chad night, mm. honestly, for everybody. Yeah, involved. like M- Mark's not really a gamer. No, he he does. He's competent in in his video game abilities, but he has this idea that gamers just like <laughs> chug Mountain Dew and eat chips. All while their their greasy fingers are all up on the controller, and they just have no lives, no girls, and um, yeah, they don't shower. It's just the, well, you know your, the, those are your words, not mine. <laughs> You're putting words in my mouth, so so those you can quote him on that. No, no, basically quote him on that in the comments. In fact, no, no, no. I basically Mark hates gamers, um, so <laughs> gamers rise up. Um, Uncharted. <laughs> Yeah, it was uh, a good movie. A really good movie. Go see it if you get a chance. Yeah, buy it on I, Blu-ray. I, yeah, I genuinely might. Yeah, me too. You know what else I might buy on Blu-ray? What? <laughs> Resident Evil: Welcome to Raccoon City. <laughs> Not even kidding. <laughs> I doubt that's gonna get. Well, it might get a Blu-ray, but who knows? It feels like a directed DVD movie from what I saw at the commercials. Honestly. No, yeah, it's definitely a. It's a guilty pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Was there anything else we we needed to say? Um. Let's see. Uh, just. This hat is making me sweat. Uh, <laughs> I, this is why I don't wear hats. Usually. He's committed to the bit. Yeah. Um, just generally, like, don't touch a book by its cover, you know? Yeah, true, because honestly, Uncharted did have some pretty horrendous posters. Yeah, it did. Uh, <laughs> like, no, like, literally, we, we literally judged the book by its cover. Yeah, because, like, like, some of these posters were just, like, I remember one one day texting Mark just, like, this poster looks... Uh... Yeah, that's, a, that's a, the reason I was so, like, ready to hate it, because, like, the marketing mm. was really bad. Like, you got to understand... The the marketing was like, like it it started off with a Led Zeppelin song for the first trailer, which is already a like, good song. Good song, not yeah. very. I love Led Zeppelin, who, but like nothing like that has ever played in an Uncharted game at all. No. So the fact that they went with that for the trailer was a bit odd. I keep saying it's like Jimi Hendrix in the Mummy trailer, because I th- but I think I know the reason why Led Zeppelin specifically was chosen. It's because there's a lyric in the song they chose, which is called Ramble On, by the way. There's a lyric in that song. Where, where the um, the singer goes, going around the world, gotta find my girl. Except, which you might think, oh, well, that fits perfectly for Uncharted. Except for the fact that the rest of the song is about orcs and Gollum and Satan and yeah. Led Zeppelin stuff. You know, yeah. like it's not really fitting with Uncharted remotely. Immediately, I was I was just like the first time I saw the trailer, I was just like, <laughs> a bit of, that's that's very. Uh, 
And that's one thing I will say. Uncharted, the movie is definitely, it's a movie made for people who haven't played the games first and fans of the game second. Yeah. doesn't mean that both can't parties can't still enjoy it because um, I definitely did and I'm a fan of the games. Yeah. But just go in knowing that if you are a fan of the games, just mm-hmm. like it's not really made for you. <laughs> And I feel like that's gonna, I feel like that's gonna be the case with the Last of Us show. Yeah, because like exactly. it's basically just like telling the same, you know, story as the game. You know, it's a movie that wasn't made for me. Tenet. I think it was just made for Christopher Nolan. It was made for him and no one else because nobody else but him gets it. Yeah. No. Literally. Yeah. Aren't there like tons of interviews like with the actors? Just like. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Uh, yeah. I don't know what the heck that movie was Michael about. Michael Caine, Robert Pattinson, John David Washington. None of them get that movie. <laughs> Even the protagonist. The protagonist. Why would you? I'm name the protagonist of this. Like, <laughs> like if you're, unless you're, you know what? That, that doesn't strike me as like, you know, like, like a, a fourth wall breaking, like meta textual reference. That mm. sounds like a pretentious art student trying to make his first <laughs> debut. It's like, I think no. Christopher Nolan was writing the script and he just like, hadn't come up with the name. So he's like, oh, the protagonist. And then he was just like, you know what? I like that. <laughs> see, see, but like when I come up with a point where I can't come up with a character's name, you know what I do? I keep, I keep thinking to myself. I keep thinking and thinking and keep coming up with names i keep coming up with ideas i keep cross referencing like well, what is this idea bringing to what does this name mean you know what mm. does that do and eventually eventually you hit you streak you strike gold and eventually it works but like you, that's the same thing with naming movies and stuff but like you can't just like leave it at that and call it a day yeah unless your name is ross and marshall thurber <laughs> who hell what <laughs> he, he's the director of skyscraper my least favorite movie oh i'm gonna yeah. i'm gonna make that i'm that was literally my first movie versus and i'm gonna I'm going to patent that as my hating on mm. Skyscraper as yeah. my thing. I saw, I haven't seen, yeah. The plane sequence. Yeah, I thought it was going to be, like, really bad, but then, like, they actually did what I asked them to do beforehand, and they, mm. like, they used, the vo- like, the same visual grammar as the one-take long scene from uh, Mission Impossible Fallout. It worked. Like, it, I was expecting, like, based on the release footage they put out before the movie, I thought they were just going to do, like, you know, like, simple cuts, and, would, like, it would look, like not a lot of wide shots and stuff that mm. wouldn't look very convincing. But they then towards the end of that, they used a long take scene as he's falling, just Which like Mission so Impossible Fallout. Good. It was really good. And like I was so like, good. I was like, literally that was the moment like before that I was like, all right, this movie's good. That was the moment that sold me. So I was like, you're doing exactly what like, I told you like to do. Why don't like, more movies it was, do like, that? Like there was a point where like literally honestly in some ways it's even better than the game because it's like you know, doesn't he like fall and then he like hits it at first? And then he has yeah. to like it, it was to, like, just fly, so kind of good, float back and there's just like no music. It's just like, yeah, ah, really damn good. man. I mean, the, I mean, can, can I say that? <laughs> I've been saying I've been saying a few. Curse um, but like, like gonna... it's it's just like in the game. Karen. It's just I, I'm, I'm trying to get my thoughts together because I'm just like thinking about this moment. <laughs> it's a really good moment. It, it was so good. It's worth it for that moment alone. But, like honestly. I didn't expect it to be like the game. Like obviously in the game, it's like you have the whole plane crashing, so mm. that's even, and it's more intense because it's over land not sea which yeah. i mean even if they would have hit the the water it sort of it they would have died definitely um yeah that's yeah I'm kidding. because it's equal to cement and falling from that height yeah. i know these things common knowledge <laughs> but um it's still like it's just like man like the way they did it and how as he's fallen it's just like the music just it's gone and it's just like he and he's like he grabs a thing but then he misses it and it's like ah it just follows him as he's like ah it was so good and it was just almost like a complete recreation of the game but just like in, with a, its, in, a, own, in its own flair yeah with its own like cinematic flair to it which is just like chung and chung he knows what he's doing yeah it was that that scene after that scene i was just like yeah this movie did it it did it for me because that was the thing because most of the marketing centered around like the plane crash i'm just like dude we saw this in the game like who who cares how can like, you do it differently and they yeah. do it differently and, and i thought was... i thought if anything they were just like they're, they're not gonna be able to do it like they did in the game the game is just so iconic and it's just like you know you see him it's just like he's falling and you just see the the plane crashing as, as he's just flying it's mm-hmm. just like it's just like you can't recreate that moment in a in a movie because in a game unless you do it for real which yeah in that it, case there's more of a thrill yeah because in a game you're like you're playing it the controllers in your hand you're part of that that whole sequence but in a movie you're just kind of watching it but they did it in a way to where you still feel like whoa you, you know what i mean yeah feel, like it, it gives you like it like i feel like adaptation is like the idea of like like the great thing about adaptation is it, it lets you experience an emotion in like a new way mm-hmm. that's why i think it works so well yeah and that scene yeah that scene really uh it really <laughs> 
Anyway, let's just cut that. Have out. A good cut that out. Cut that out. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, go see Uncharted, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Bottom line. Sony never believed in the games. They just thought they found a prize. What did you find, Eric? Me? Illumination. Nah. nah.